Hey everyone, it is the final week of Second Chance Month and I wanted to talk about something that I've talked about before to bring an awareness around housing <laughs> for people who have criminal records. So I can get just about anybody a job coming out of prison or anybody who has a criminal record or a former addiction who has truly transformed their life. That is easy peasy for me. Where we struggle a lot <laughs> is getting people who have criminal records access to housing. And not just any housing, appropriate places to live for their situation. So there are places that people with criminal records can live at, but oftentimes they're still in the same environment that they're trying to get out of. Just to give an example, I have a, well, all of my recruiters make decent money and they have completely transformed many years in recovery, but because of their criminal record, and sometimes these are single moms as well, because of their criminal record, they are forced to live at a extended stay or a budget suites. We are super proud of one of our supervisors who has beat the odds and is able to purchase her own home and I want to share that story with you. So this is a feel good story, but I'm hoping that it also provides some education and awareness around the issue that so many of our employees face every single day. Check it out. We are at an extended stay hotel in Arlington, Texas. This is where Randall and I have lived since we left Grace Place. Very <laughs> cramped. As you can see, it's one room, one bathroom, tiny little stove over there. We got tired of trying to rent someplace and the application fees and all that stuff was just too much because we kept getting turned down because um, of my criminal background. I have two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and organized retail theft. A whole bunch of thefts actually. And um, nobody would rent to me. It's the most discouraging feeling in the world to know that, man, I might have to live in a motel for the rest of my life or a hotel for the rest of my life. It cost about $15.58 a month to live in this one bedroom, this little bitty one room um, hotel room. It's actually less expensive to own your own home than it is to live in an extended stay hotel. We even tried to buy a little trailer house in one of those um, communities. They just wanted 3,000 down and we had it and they said, no, you cannot buy a home and live here because of your criminal background. So one day I just looked at Randall and said, we're gonna buy a house. He said, okay. <laughs> I was introduced to Watermark Church in Dallas. They had a financial catalyst program that I was a member of, that I was a part of. For, for every dollar I deposited into a savings account, they matched it times two to give me the, the help that I needed to have a down payment on a home. It's real now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Thank you for all your help. I know it wouldn't have happened without you. Here's your key, and here's your reason. <laughs> okay. Y'all are homeowners. I know. <laughs> I keep saying that. This is our house. We bought it. It's starting to sink in. It's just very, very overwhelming. <laughs> It's been a journey. It's been a long journey. I didn't think it would ever come. I didn't think, especially two years ago, I was sitting in prison at this time. Well, I've just been released from prison. I never thought that I would be standing in a house that I bought two years later, ever. I did not do this alone. First and foremost was God. God definitely opened doors for me and as long as I just continued to listen and go where he wanted me to go things happen people think that whenever you come out of prison it's all over but it's not whenever you hit the hit the doors it's probably even harder than it was when it was when you were in prison because everyone in society is gonna hold that against you for the rest of your life and you have to you have to 
daily prove yourself to people. Like, this is who I am now. This is what I am, not what I used to be. It's a daily transformation, a daily surrender, and a daily, a daily struggle, definitely. But thank you, Jesus, for Cornbread Hustle. Thank you, Jesus, for Grace Creek Properties. And thank you, Jesus, for Watermark, Veritex Bank, and the financial catalyst program that I was a participant in because without that, I don't know where I would be standing today, honestly. <laughs> we did it. <laughs>